Hello guys, I'm doing a video for the Windows 8 Consumer Preview in VMware Player. We're going to go ahead and boot it up. I'm going to go ahead and put it in full screen. You guys could take a look, good look at the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. This is the new boot screen for right now. It will sooner or later get changed in the new version of the next build. It could be a little sluggish because of my computer. Ain't got much of memory. I gave it like 2 gigabytes and this is the 32-bit copy I'm running. I gave it a 120 gigabyte virtual hard disk in a 120 gigabyte. And I'm gonna show you show you my thoughts on how I think of it. So we're gonna go ahead and let it load. And I know many people ain't gonna be satisfied with the way Windows 8 is. Because they kind of changed it up a bit. Gonna bring us to like the to the login screen. We should get a little arrow coming up. Here we go now we're at the new login screen as you see. We'll go ahead and drag it up. You can drag it upwards. And as you see it's mandatory to have an email account so you can log on to Windows. Which is kind of stupid. So you gotta use um, the password from your email and you gotta have an internet connection. I'm not sure about that. To uh, use your email to log on to the, to the computer. But this is an op operating system that should be go good for tablets. I don't hardly recommend it much right now for uh, desktops and laptops. I mean for computers. But for like tablets this operating system is good for computers with the, with the multi-touch. If, if that's what you get what I'm saying. You still got the original desktop, which is similar to Windows 7, and it introduced a new wallpaper. Let me go ahead and fix the screen resolution. Cause it puts it so it'll be all the way so it'll fit through the screen. As you see, this is Windows 8 Consumer Preview build 8250. And as you see, they kind of remove some of the features of Arrow in this operating system. It's still, right now, got the same requirements of Windows 7, 32-bit and 64-bit. It's going to be a little sluggish. Just bear with me. 
fix the screen I was fixing a little bit. Because it does get aggravated when it's so slow. Or if it's either my own screen capturing software not trying to cooperate right. Now we got it in full screen, we're gonna keep the changes. Show you the new Windows Explorer, how it's looking so far. As you see, they introduced a new ribbon interface. Just like Microsoft Office 2007 and 2010. Which some users may not be able to be happy with the way it looks. And you got the new feature, Windows PowerShell. Just it's similar to command prompt. This is the about windows. As you see it's based off of version 6.2 which is NT 6.2. And they introduced a new Windows logo. This is your download. There's nothing on the desktop. And as you see there's no start menu. And if you hover your arrow on the corner you get search. You got the share the start menu the start screen, your settings, and you got one for devices. This is where you can adjust settings for your desktop. You can do personalization, control panel. Let's take a look at the control panel. You also get the big clock and date when you hover the arrow over the as you see what I'm talking about. And it comes with like Internet Explorer 10 beta. Just the same control panel as usual. Let's take a look at the start screen. And there's one interesting thing you can do, like with certain programs. So like if you want to take Internet Explorer right you just hit a right click and unpin from the from start. If you're not this is the Windows store. Let's see if we're we're not gonna be buying it, we're gonna see how it looks. It'll take a while. Because some of these apps sometimes don't work. And you got two different versions of Internet Explorer. You got the normal Internet Explorer and the mobile version of Internet Explorer for like the tablets. You gotta use this to scroll down. And it uses the Metro UI. Let me go back to the Windows logo. Watch this if I hover over my arrow on the left corner. Right click. Just hit close. Or you can use the Alt F4 combo. You can also do you can uninstall programs when you right click. Or you can make them lock the program icons look larger. You know, get out of there. As you see I installed an old version of Office as you see. I installed Office 2007 and it works with no problem even though it's a le legendary program, I mean legacy program. So you're able to use Office 2007. Sometimes it some odd reason it, it wants to install automatic updates for Windows, even though it, this is since this is a beta.
can um, customize the start screen, which I'm going to show you. But all these programs you don't need. Let's see it. It's kind of confusing though. Let's go to settings. See if we can go to more PC settings. This is the new way they do settings. You could personalize the way the screen looks. This is for the lock screen. And you could change the color of the start screen, which they don't have many colors. You can add more users. You got adjust the notifications. You got settings for Windows Update. You got all kind of interesting things. But the main thing is, it's, it's kind of confusing. You can access your webcam. You can go to your music, your video. And they do have Windows Media Player, but it's hidden. And if you want to go to, you know, when you click on your name, you're able to log off or sign out, or you can change your picture. You hit the the Windows key and I. Let's see if I can get that. And you can just go to power. And you're able to shut down and restart from there. Well, there ain't much to show it. I'll show you how it shuts down. Cause I don't feel like I'm fooling around with all the applications. So I'm just showing you a little basic demonstration of this, of it running in a virtual machine, as you see. I don't really like get it like a hundred percent of it because it, it's still a little confusing for me to learn everything so that was my thoughts so for right now I'm going to continue to stick with Windows 7 and um, this is where, where this computer will run so I hope you watch my video if you can leave any comments and thanks for watching.